we were talking about media and the gaslighting that is taking place with regards to trying to shame you into asking questions about your election. And we've talked about how the left with their lists and everyone else, you know, is doing this too. Do you remember yesterday when we discussed how the Lincoln Project, which I wrote about as a group of middle-aged fraternity rejects trying to scrape out an existence as left-behind strategists? They were, uh, they were, try- they tried doxing attorneys that were helping the Trump campaign in disputed states. Well, as it turned out, because they went after Jones Day, a law firm, as it turns out, Jones Day actually wasn't representing the Trump campaign. So you had this entire group of people who want you to trust them and say they have credibility, who didn't even bother to verify their accusation before running with a doxing campaign. I wonder why they had to resort to trying to create a niche industry because they could no longer find employment on K Street. I mean, it may be K Street, but they still have some standards, you know. (sighs) See, even the whorehouse has standards. Wasn't that an old saying? Or was it just something that my grandmother said? I don't remember. I'm not even joking. I, uh, the, P- the party of love and unity, because we keep hearing about unity as well. And I saw this, I thought of this when I saw the, uh, did you all see the naked cowboy getting assaulted? He's not actually naked. I just want to point this out. He's like in spe- a Speedo. And he's apparently a Trump supporter. As many, as many times as I've been in New York, I've never seen him. But I also make a point to avoid Times Square whenever possible. It, even when I'm in Midtown and I have to work in Midtown, I will not because you can't I cannot stand crowds because I get real claustrophobic. I can't be shoulder to shoulder. I can't deal with it. I'm weird. So but anyway, he's and he was like out there in his tidy whities with his guitar and he's just singing. He's got, you know, his he's a Trump supporter. Somebody came, try to grab his panties and knocked him to the ground. It was a Biden supporter, apparently. And they were screaming something about MAGA or whatever. And they helped him up, but they tore his britches in the back. They did. I'm like, when you're even attacking this guy, I mean, they really, I mean, you don't see nothing in the video. So nobody, I know all y'all kids hanging out at home doing the Zoom classes. You don't need to shield their eyes. They're really in nothing. He, he, just, there's nothing more than the copper tone baby that you see. That's about it. But I just couldn't believe that. Like you even go after this guy. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. 